Hi and welcome to another video of Python in Audit. Today we will see how Python can help us auditing dividend income of listed investments. My name is Rizwan Ahmed and welcome to my channel Digital Accountants. We receive detail from the client which could be in different formats but generally it provides following details. Name of the investments, dividend entitlement dates, Dividend rate, number of shareholdings at dividend entitlement date, and dividend amount. The additional column I have here is symbol, which we don't see in client provided schedules. For data collection purposes, this is the main ingredient. So, if you have to automate the process, you should ask your client to provide this information. There are various ways you can test dividend income in a traditional audit settings such as testing a few samples from dividend warrants administrator statements or third party letter in this case you can check both number of shares and dividend rate in a single statement another way is by checking rates online from yahoo finance or any other reliable website and the number of shares can be recalculated at the dividend entitlement date by using sale purchase statements. So there are various ways. Today we are going to cover how you can collect dividend rates using Python and create an audit work paper. So what I want my Python script is to collect dividend rates from Yahoo Finance for these stocks on these dates and add a column named audit rates for the rates collected create another column named rate difference here and as the name suggests take the difference between auditor rate and client rate next create another column here named income difference which multiplies rate difference and shares to calculate the amount of the difference and at last add another column material if the amount difference is greater than materiality it should highlight it by saying material so we can quickly spot the areas of further investigation this is the python code that should achieve the purpose let's quickly go through the code first I'm importing two libraries, Pandas and YFinance. YFinance is the one collecting rates from Yahoo server. I'm loading or reading client provided schedule and saving it in a variable list. Next, I'm saving my materiality number in a variable materiality. So the script knows the differences to be marked as material above this number. Next, from the client provided schedule which is saved in a variable list, I am extracting symbols. Next, I am setting my desired financial year dates. So dividends only obtain for the dates that fall within this financial year. I am creating an empty data frame which will store the data once collected. Here, I am initiating the process of rates collection and looping for all stock symbols. I am assigning column names with symbols so we can identify which rate belongs to which stock. Next, transposing the data. Next, I am using stack function to create multi index data frame the reason is that there is a possibility that one stock would have received more than one dividend in a financial year and on different dates next converting to a data frame setting names for these multi indices symbol and dates setting a name for the column that has dividend rates I want to save the dividend file in a CSV for reference purposes before creating audit work paper. 
I'm reading from the file and aligning dates. Otherwise, it is a date with a long timestamp. Here, I'm creating my audit work paper with all my desired columns. And at the end, saving the file in CSV format with the name Dividend Income Work Paper, WP, in a CSV. Let's select the code and run. Code has now finished its operation and now let's have a look at the folder for the new file name Dividend Income WP. And as expected, I can see I have all my desired columns. In the end, two differences. One of the difference is above materiality. So I can only be focusing my time on investigating this. All this was done in 11 seconds. If you are not familiar with any programming language and want to learn Python, I have a series Python for Accountants in this channel. It is easy to follow by accounting and finance professionals.